Hello and welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Our Time for Adventures. You are now watching the most exciting diecast monster truck racing channel on YouTube. 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 Please comment with your favorite trucks and races you would like to see. And thank you for watching Our Time for Adventures. Welcome back to another Diecast Monster Truck Bracket Racing Tournament, round number five. In this tournament, 16 trucks will compete, but only one will win. And the team of the winning truck will move on to the next round. Let's head over to the track now to meet the trucks racing in today's tournament. First off, we have returning champions, Spin Master Series 2. Let's start with Hurricane Force, King Crunch, Golden Max D, Jester, Son of a Digger, and returning winner Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Nitro Neon Grave Digger, and Scarlet Bandit. They will be taking on Challenger Spin Master Series number four. Let's meet the trucks. We have Big Kahuna, Captain's Curse, Monster Mutt, Overcast Grave Digger, Megalodon Training Truck Chase Piece, Northern Nightmare, Blue Crustacean, and Nitro Neon Soldier Fortune. Here's how the bracket will lay out for today's races. Series number two is returning to this tournament for the third time, with Rottweiler winning both the last two tournaments. Does series number four have what it takes to take them down? Let's head over to the track and find out with the first race. For today's first race, we have Scarlet Bandit taking on Big Kahuna in the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off. Wait, both trucks, what? Why both trucks flip? I have never seen this before. We have to look at this in super slow-mo. Here we go with the launch again, and both trucks just turn into that side rail, start to flip coming down into the jumps, but look at how in sync they are. This could be an Olympic sport, look at that. Flipping over the ramp, both landing at the same time, both up on two wheels, and then coming back down. Wow, we couldn't do that again if we tried. Let's take one more look at this from the track cam because I just can't believe how perfectly they wreck together. Here we go, as they come down the ramp, they both turn right and boom! Perfectly in sync up over the jump, land, and then back down. That is so wild. But we will have to rerun this race, so let's get them back lined up at the gate and do it again. So we have Scarlet Bandit back in the blue lane and Big Kahuna back in the red lane. Let's see if we can do it without. Both trucks smooth down the ramp into the jump. Scarlet Bandit a little ahead, even over the crush cars. And Scarlet Bandit takes the win. Let's take another look from the track cam. Here we go, nice and smooth this time, coming down. Into the jump, even big jump from both trucks. Scarlet Bandit just a little quicker over the crush cars and first to the line for the win. Great race. Well, after a wild crash in the first race and lining them back up, Scarlet Bandit does take the win over Big Kahuna. Let's head back to the track for race number two. For this race, we have Nitro Neon Gravedigger taking on Captain's Curse. Let's race. And they're off, down the ramp. Oh, Gravedigger completely turns right. Captain's Curse up over the center obstacle for the win. Let's take another look in slow-mo. Here we go with the launch as they come down. Let's see what happens. Gravedigger just gets to the ramp and completely turns right. Lands and keeps going. Misses the crush cars, will be eliminated. Tries to get back over to the line, but Captain's Curse already takes the win. Great race. Defending Champion Series 2 takes the win in the first race, but Captain's Curse takes the win in the second race for Series 4. Up next in the starting line, we have two-time Defending Champion Monster Mutt Rottweiler taking on Monster Mutt. Let's go racing. Here we go, down the ramp. Monster Mutt turns at the base of the jump, completely crashes before even getting to the cars. Rottweiler wins. Let's take another look at slow-mo. As they launch and start coming down the ramp, Monster Mutt looks good, but as he hits this jump, something must break because he just turns completely sideways. Rottweiler up over the car, smooth, jumps at the end over the line for the win. Can anyone take down Rottweiler? He's won the last two races and still moves on here. Do any of these other trucks have what it takes to take down Rottweiler? 
as he moves on with yet another win. Let's head back to the track for the next race. Up next, we have Son of a Digger in the blue lane, racing Overcast Grave Digger in the red lane. Let's go racing. And we're off, down the ramp. Oh, this time Son of a Digger turns left into the red lane. Grave Digger a little rough over the crush cars, but takes the win. Wow, let's take another look. As both trucks leave the line, they look pretty good coming down the ramp, and then boom, Son of a Digger just turns left. Overcast Grave Digger with a nice smooth jump, even up over the crush cars to the line for the win. What a race. With Son of a Digger crashing right off the first jump, it's a nice easy win for Grave Digger. So far in the first round, we've had some nice even racing with two trucks from each series moving on. Let's head back to the track for the next race. Next up, we have Jester in the blue lane, racing Megalodon training truck Chase Piece in the red lane. Here we go. Great launch coming down the ramp. Huge jump from both trucks. Both trucks very fast. Oh, who was first to the line? Let's take another look in slow-mo. This one was definitely a close race. Let's take a look as they come down the ramp. They're really even coming into the jump. Huge air from both trucks. Oh, but the training truck goes to the left, misses the cars. But Jester's first to the line anyway for the win. Great race. Great run from the Megalodon chase piece, but Jester is able to take the win. Let's head back to the track and continue the great racing. Up next, we have Golden Max D taking on Northern Nightmare. Let's race. Golden Max D gets the whole shot out of the gate, first to the jump. Oh, Northern Nightmare, one wheel, can't hold it and crashes. Easy win for Gold Max D. Let's take another look. Max D is just quicker, coming right out of the gate and down the ramp. He has huge air right here, but look at Northern Nightmare. Lands on one wheel, tries to save it, and just crashes. Max D up over the crush cars, nice and smooth for the win. Great race. With Northern Nightmare crashing out, Golden Max D takes the easy win. The next two trucks are over at the track, lined up and ready to go. We have King Crunch in the blue lane and Blue Crustacean in the red lane. Let's race. And we're off. Carrying a lot of speed down the ramp. Oh, Crustacean misses the crush cars, will be eliminated. King Crunch almost crashes up on two wheels. Let's take another look. We've had a lot of problems today with trucks turning, coming down the ramp and Crustacean right here does the same thing. Turns to the left, misses the crush cars and gets eliminated. King Crunch hits that center jump. Up on two wheels over the line, and oh, almost flips, but saves it. Back on the tires for the win. Great race. After another wild round, King Crunch takes the win over Crustacean. So far, that's five trucks from Series 2 moving on to the second round. Only two trucks from Series 4. Can Series 4 take the win in the next race? Let's head back to the track and find out. For the final race in the first round, we have Hurricane Force in the blue lane, Nitro Neon Soldier Fortune in the red lane. Let's race. Coming down the ramp into the jump. Oh, Soldier Fortune just stops. What happened? Hurricane Force across the line for the win. But let's take another look in slow-mo. What happens to Nitro Neon Soldier Fortune? Let's see. As he comes down into the jump, it just like stops, almost like he loses power. Hurricane Force over the crush cars is on two wheels for the win. But Soldier Fortune just rolls up on these crush cars and stops. Wow. They will definitely have to get that truck fixed before he can continue racing. With Soldier Fortune having problems, that's an easy win for Hurricane Force in the last race of round one. After the first round of racing, it's looking pretty good for defending champion series two, moving into the second round as they have six trucks taking up the eight spots in the second round, series four with only two trucks. Let's head over to the pits and meet the trucks moving on. All the trucks have been repaired, lined up in the pits and ready to go. We have Scarlet Bandit and returning champion Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Captain's Curse and Overcast Gravedigger, Jester and King Crunch, and finally Golden Max D and Hurricane Force. Let's take another look and see how the bracket will lay out. Series 2 definitely has an advantage going into round 2. Let's see if Series 4 can do anything to stop them. First up, we have Scarlet Bandit in the blue lane, racing returning champion Monster Mutt Rottweiler in the red lane. Let's go. And we're off. Even jump from both trucks. Oh, Rottweiler's quicker over the cars for the win. Great race. Let's take another look. Both trucks are smooth and quick coming down the ramp. Let's take a look as Rottweiler jumps. He gets huge air right here. Lands right before the cars and almost jumps completely over the crush cars. That's why he's so smooth. Taking the win. Maybe that's his secret. Just clears the crush cars and going on for the victory. Well, in the first race, Scarlet Bandit gets defeated by teammate Rottweiler and once again moves on to the semifinals. Let's head back to the track for the second race. Up next, we have Captain's Curse in the blue lane racing Overcast Gravedigger in the red lane. Here we go. 
Coming down into the jump. Both trucks head to the center of the track. Oh, they crash over the center jump. Captain's Curse continues on for the win. Wow, let's take another look in slow motion. Both trucks smooth coming down the ramps. Right as they get to the jump, both trucks just turn towards the center of the track, land even, and boom, crash right over that center jump. Gravedigger hits the crush car and flips as Captain's Curse continues on for the win. Great race. Well, it was unfortunate that the remaining Series 4 trucks had to race each other in this round, but that ensured one of them was moving on, and it was Captain's Curse taking the victory. And he will be the only Series 4 truck moving into the semifinals. Back over at the track, we have Jester in the blue lane, and King Crunch lined up in the red lane. Let's go racing. As they come down the ramp, oh, King Crunch crashes right off the ramp. Doesn't even make it over the jump. Jester for the win. But look at King Crunch lands in a wheelie. Wow, let's take another look at that one. As they launch, Jester has a great launch and smooth jump, but King Crunch must have blown a tire or something. Crashes right over that first jump, hits it and flips right into a wheelie. But Jester nice and smooth for the win. Great race. Well, King Crunch had some really bad luck on the entry there, allowing teammate Jester to take the win and move into the semifinals. Let's head back over to the track for the last race of the second round where Gold Max D is racing Hurricane Force. Here we go. Perfectly even coming down the ramp. Oh, it looks like Max D just hits the brakes on the jumps. Hurricane Force smooth over the cars for the win. What happened to Max D? Let's take a look. Coming down the ramp, the run looks good so far. But just as he hits the jump, it just turns a little bit, hits the brakes, lands on one wheel, can't hold it and flips. But Hurricane Force over there in the red lane, smooth across those crushed cars for a win. Awesome. With Max D crashing out and completely destroying his own truck, Hurricane Force will take the win and move into the semifinals. Let's head over to the pits and meet all the trucks moving into the semifinal round. The trucks have all been fixed up in the pits and ready. We have Monster Mutt Rottweiler and Jester and Captain's Curse and Hurricane Force. This is gonna be a good semi-final round. The track crew was busy getting the track all ready to go. Everything looks good and we're ready to race. Here's what the semi-final rounds will look like. Up in the staging lanes first, we have returning champ, Monster Mutt Rottweiler in the blue lane, racing Jester in the red lane. Let's go. Even down the ramp, into the jump, huge jump. Oh, it's too close to tell who won it. We'll definitely have to look at the slow-mo replay to determine a winner. Here we go. As the trucks come down the ramp there, side by side going into the jump. Big air from both trucks. They land at the same time, even over the cars. Oh, still, who won? This could be our closest race of the day. Here's the photo finish. Looks like your winner for this race is Monster Mutt Rottweiler by Just a Tire. This truck is unstoppable. That was an amazingly close race, but Monster Mutt Rottweiler for the win. And that moves him into the final round. Jester will go on to have to race one more time to see if he can secure third place in this tournament. And back over at the track, the trucks are lined up with the second race for the semifinals. We have Captain Curse in the blue lane, Hurricane Force in the red lane. Let's go racing. Coming down the ramp into the jump. Looks like Captain's Curse is ahead. Hits the crush cars. Oh wait, did he go across the crush cars? We need to look in slow-mo to see who won this race. Coming down into the jump, Captain's Curse is definitely a little bit ahead, but as he jumps, both trucks go a little right. His front tires just hit the cars, and then he goes right off to the side. He will be eliminated. Hurricane Force goes up over that center obstacle and will take the win. Wow, what a race. Since Captain's Curse did not completely go over the crush cars, he will be eliminated. Giving the win over to Hurricane Force, moving him into the final round. Let's head back over to the pits where the trucks are all fixed up and clean for the finals. We have Monster Mutt Rottweiler racing Hurricane Force for the finals. And we have Jester racing Captain's Curse for third place. Who do you think it's gonna be? Let's take one more look at the bracket before we get the races started. And back over at the track, the race for third's ready to go. We got Jester in the blue lane and Captain's Curse in the red lane. Let's race, who's it gonna be? What? Oh no, what happened to Captain's Curse? Jester with the big jump, smooth over the cars to the line for the win. But let's take another look in slow-mo and see what happened to Captain's Curse. Good coming out of the gate, but just coming down the ramp, the truck just starts to turn to the left. Maybe something was bent from the previous race. But Jester has a big jump, smooth over those crushed cars across the line for that win. Awesome job, Jester. Well, Captain's Curse couldn't quite pull off the victory, so Jester will take third place in the tournament. And now for the moment everybody has been waiting for. This is your final round. 
let's head over to the track where Monster Mutt Rottweiler's in the blue lane and Hurricane Force is lined up in the red lane. Let's go racing. Great launch from both trucks. Super even coming down into the jump. Oh, big air from both trucks. Who's ahead? Looks like Monster Mutt Rottweiler ahead just a little bit. Yes, to the line first. Oh, they almost get together. Rottweiler up the last jump and crashes at the end. Let's take one more look at that winning race here in slow-mo. As they come down the track, both trucks are very even, right into the jump, even through the jump in the air. Rottweiler just a little head over the crush cars across the line first for the win. This truck is seriously unstoppable. This is his third tournament taking first place. Wow, can anybody beat this guy? Well, we definitely had a great, close final race and Hurricane Force gave it everything he had but just wasn't quite enough. As the two-time defending champion, Monster Mutt Rottweiler takes his third victory of this tournament. You just have to ask, does any truck have what it takes to defeat Series 2? We'll find out soon, but for now, let's visit the truck in the winner circle. I really think Rottweiler's getting used to being up there on that podium with that trophy. Man, these trucks look good. What do you say we take some time and help them celebrate? Thanks again for watching Our Time for Adventures. Until next time.